Play the game with the people that writing the rules Ain't the fame that I'm after when paying the dues I've been through the pain that's reflected in the attitude Might be winning now, but the thing is that I had to lose So go and tell me what you really want to do And lonely at the top, cause there ain't a lot of room Ain't no other option, it's all I ever knew So I'ma get it poppin', you know how I'ma do I've been down through the blood and the sweat Guarantee you can know I'm a threat I've been down through the blood and the sweat And I ain't close to being done yet I'm going on it Let's go, everyone. What's oh. up, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen? Oh. Hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful time. It is Tuesday evening. You know what time it is. It is the Boys Are Back podcast time. We're going to talk 49er football. Our boy Brandon is going to be the GM of your San Francisco 49ers tonight. Who will he be picking in seven rounds? We will talk more about it, but no further ado, let me introduce my co-host, starting with Peter. What's up, Pete? Hey, what's going on, Beto? What's going on, Brandon? And what's going on, chat? And all the people out in Ireland, it's another, it's another Tuesday. Appreciate all, all of you for coming in and, uh, and taking a peek at Brandon's, at Brandon's uh, picks. Like, uh, let's all see who the 49ers are not going to select. Exactly. And the man of the hour, <laughs> the, the man, the miss, the man of the hour, the GM, Mr. Brandon. What's up, Brandon? What's going on, Betha? What's going on, Pete? Uh, we back again with another episode of The Boys. Um, yeah, I'm ready to get started to get this draft going. Um, you know, make sure you guys hit that like subscribe button mm -hmm. like you see above my camera. Uh, you can find me, me there on all those channels. But, uh, yeah, let's get this party started. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We got our – let's introduce our our people in the comment. We got I, Daniel Barry Sports in the house. What's up, Daniel? <laughs> oh, that's you forgot to change it yeah, to yeah, live Yeah, yeah, I, I changed it on all of them but this one. It's all right. We'll <laughs> keep you right there. Uh, no, mom, not change it right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Don? Welcome to the channel. No, no yore, no yore. Uh, hold on. Oop, wrong one. Oh, my Lord. Leave it to Brandon. Leave it to Brandon. Leave it to Beth, though. Leave it to Brandon. There. Se fue el feo. I. Uh, no, let's see, where's uh, where's Brandon's thing? What's up, David and Danielle? There he is. All right, there he is. Now we got it going on. All right, let's say hello to David McNiner in the house. What's up, David? What's up, David? David's in the house. You know what? Let me do something real quick. Fly from the left. All right, David, we got uh, Tanisha in the house. What's up, Tanisha? We got Danielle Thompson in the house. What's up? Welcome to the channel. Uh, we got the famous, the Vato Loco from the Niners Empire World, Mr. Joey. What's up, Joey? Oh How's everybody God, doing? Ready with the fucking jokes, Joey. <laughs> hey, hey, Joey Fucking does what Joey God. does best, man. Ha ha ha! Very funny. Yeah, uh, that's no, my boy. Honestly. Hey, Rico, before we move on, before we move we on, interrupt this program to bring you an important announcement. For more awesome content, like and subscribe now. There you go. Like and subscribe. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is having a great time. As we brought up in the beginning tonight, we're going to have Mr. Brandon make his picks. Now, last week, 
for those that join us, we were having a little bit of technical difficulties with uh, the the extra uh, website in. So hopefully we don't run into that problem tonight. Fingers crossed. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll give it a shot. Let me know at any time in the chat if it's lagging, Brandon or uh, Pete. Let me know if it's lagging yeah. on your side at any time. All right, guys. So with no further ado, let's get this party started. Brandon, uh, do you have your cap on as Mr. Uh, GM of the 49ers? Yes, sir. Okay, this is interesting. All right. Hold on. All right. So let's go ahead. Seven rounds. 49ers. We're going to enter the draft. Boom. All right. So... We're not going to do trades. I know I was going to say, do you want to do trades or do you just want to wherever lands on your on your spot? Uh, it doesn't matter, dude. No, but, well, tell me, do you want to do trades or not? Um, Did you guys do trades last week? Yeah. I believe we did. Yeah. You want to do uh, trades? Sure. Yeah, All sure. Right. What the hell? So you, you got to tell me, you got to be fast when it comes to trades, though, because it's going to be going, you got to tell me when to stop. Okay. okay. Otherwise, it'll skip your spot. Are you ready? So yes. at any point, like if you want me to stop in the 20s, in the, in, you know, 2025, let me know and I'll stop. Here okay. we go. And all right. Oh, man, this one took you straight to 31. Never mind. Yeah, it uh, did. So there goes that. At least now it was slow last week. Now it's going 100 miles an hour. Go and figure. Uh, <laughs> better this way, right, Pete? Yes, absolutely. All right, so here's your, here is your picks. I will scroll up. You tell me to go up or down or where to stop or who to pick, okay? So you got cool eight. Mr. Corner, if you want me to go specifically to a quarterback, running back, or position, let me know. You guide me. I'll do it, all right? All right. Go to – can you just search up uh, cornerbacks? Corners? Yes. All right, here are the corners available at 31. Hmm. Tell me when to stop. I'm going to go ahead and go to, um, what do you call it? Go to defensive end for me. Defensive end? Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Defensive end. Let me take away the corner. All right, here are here. Oops, sorry about that. Here are all the corners. Uh, excuse me, defensive ends available at thirty-one. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's go back up again. Uh, click on uh, Chris Braswell real quick. Just, uh, just one. Check him out real quick. All uh, right, he's uh, he's played in the in the B gap five times this year, uh, over tackle mm -hmm. forty six times, and the outside tackle uh, four hundred and eighty six. So he's uses a lot of uh, offside tackle. Uh, okay, he scored eighty one. He's six three, two hundred and fifty five pounds senior, and he's twenty two and a, twenty two and a half. Not bad. Not bad. Explosives. I already know Nair's going to go edge anyways, I feel like, in the first round. Because <laughs> we already know our team. Um, go to uh, Isaac from Penn State. Let me see what he, what, what he got. Isaac. Uh, defensive snaps, 400. Uh, pass rush snaps, 208. Run defense snaps, 172. Had nine sacks. He had four hits, 20 hurries, and he played majority offside tackle. Yeah. All right. And Let me go he with. He is uh, 6'4, 254 pounds out of hometown Brooklyn. Okay. Um, You know what? I'm kind of feeling. I'm kind of feeling good with Chris Broswell from Alabama. You want to, you want to, you want him? Yeah, let's draft him. Okay, you don't want to look at every what's okay. I'll pick him. You don't want to know who's all available. 
Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you can before I I make my official yeah, official. I mean, because you got uh, top corner, and you got a, a yeah. I know. Tiger, I was I was also, safety. I was, look, I was also looking at Kool Aid too. Yeah, you, you Zach Frazier is not a from West Virginia center. You got center, Lat yeah. McConkey, receiver out of Georgia. Mm-hmm. You got TJ Tampa out of uh, Iowa. Bar, uh, Braden's fix is probably going to fifth round, somewhere in the fourth, fifth round. But Jordan mm-hmm. Morgan's there, a tackle out of Arizona. But you want to go with Chris, right? Mm. Fuck. I don't know, man. Uh, let me go. I mean, you are like uh, you could make this your list. Yeah, like, uh, like it doesn't have to be what the 49ers should pick, uh, like are gonna pick, uh, just because it's. Uh, I mean, this is who we would draft for the team. Yeah, no, I know. I think I'm trying to remember. Let me see. Let me show some oh, of the comments draft. while you're while you're guessing, my brother. When we when we did the draft the last time, uh, like last month or so, um, I picked a tackle first round. Mm. I can't. I don't remember his name though. I think he was from uh, Notre Dame. Notre Dame tackle? Oh, Blake Fisher. I think it was Blake Fisher. Yeah. You know what? Let me stick with that, uh, Beto. Let me go uh, Fisher, first round. Oh. You want, yeah, you Fisher, want I don't think he's I don't think he's like uh, slated to go until like the end of the second round. Who, who are you talking about? I don't think it was Fisher. Maybe it was somebody else because I got it. Remember when we looked at the grades afterwards and said that that that, that first pick was an A for me. I'm trying yeah. to fucking like it was fucking Notre Dame. Was it Blake I mean, Fisher? It probably was Blake Fisher, but like these these rankings change from week to week. So like that's true. Oh, that's that's true. Right. After what, what, after the combine, oh, man. That's Blake true. Fisher like uh, kind of kind of sky like uh, he skyrocketed. Now he's tailed off again, and like uh, the, it's just whoever's the uh, the hot choice of the week, kind of. Yeah, that's true. So you want to um, go with bro? All right, let's go with uh, let's go with he tackle. Decisive. Um, I'm changing my mind again. We'll go with tackle. Uh, fucking sorry, dude. I keep cussing. <laughs> I know. It is. Um, uh, let's go with Jordan Morgan from Arizona. You want to take him? Yeah. All right. All right. Moving on to 63. 63. These are all your top picks available at 63. Um, let me look at C, uh, cornerback. I think we could go cornerback this round. These are all your corners available. I see a couple of corners that I really like. Jackson from Morgan? How- huh? Thoughts no, on Jack from Morgan? What are your guys' thoughts on that? Uh, I haven't really looked at Kyrie Jackson too much because he's not really – he hasn't been going in too many mocks. Like, uh, yeah. No, he hasn't. Yeah. No. Yeah. I see a couple that I like, but I don't Morgan, like him right and now. The 49ers have met through with Andrew Phillips a couple of times. Like, okay. Uh, but he's yeah. kind of far down there on the ranking. So he's, like he'll probably, probably be like third. a fifth round. He's in the eighties, bro. He's gonna go in the eight. He's ranking on the eighties. So yeah, you're looking about. The, well, I mean, he he would be. It just depends because he, you're you're hoping if you don't pick him here, you're hoping that he makes it to the third round. Yeah, like uh, like to your pick in the third round because I think we have the pick yeah, at the yeah. end. Of the now, if you're looking at some corners, bro, I'm talking. I'm telling you, bro, you got like. Ronaldo Green from Florida State. I know. I was, that you I was can get him later. Then yeah. one of the person the Niners even had visit was a Chu Smith Wade out of okay. Washington State. So He's you nice. got Josh Newton from uh, TCU's is a dog. You got oh, yeah, a lot of good corners. I'm just to give you some, you know, you don't have to take okay. a corner high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you. Um, yeah, no, I was looking at the, the Florida State. Uh, Fam, two corners are there. Um, that are good. Uh, we you took uh you took a tackle. 
yeah. uh, with your first uh, spot. I don't know if, where you want to move on from position, but I know uh, Christian Haynes out of uh, Connecticut. Yeah, it's a good Christian guard. Haynes. He can play tackle and guard. Okay. Um, you know, just to kind of give you some ideas. Um, Reshasher, uh, Brennan Price out of Washington is pretty good. Uh, that, it's kind of a Kyrie trainer, Jackson. Though. Kyrie Jackson, like 6'4", 194. Mm-hmm. I mean, 30, Ow. 32, Ow. almost 33 inch arms. He's six. Yeah, Kyrie got, Jackson, six three. Kyrie Jackson. It shows six four on his combine. Really? Yeah. He, uh, let's see here. Uh, he he played pretty much a uh, corner 460 snaps, but he also played that slot 23 snaps, not much. In the box, 35. Uh, he had three INTs, a touchback, 200 yards. Uh, he's a 19. He's a dog. Yeah. Um, I I was actually looking at him um, right now, to be honest, for this round. Um, so let's go with Kyrie Jackson. Cornerback. You want to go with him? All right. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, do you guys hear any music in the background? No. All right. No. My wife just texted me. She says, is my music too loud? Uh, <laughs> all right. So we're at 94. Let me text her back. She's at uh, 94. You got uh, these are the guys you have available. Jeremiah Trotter, mm-hmm. linebacker Clemson. You got Christian is still the, uh, Christian uh, uh, from Boston College. Brandon Rice. You got some picks. You got Jaron Jones from Florida round State. Round three, right? Round three. This is round three, yeah. Okay. Um, and everybody in the chat, continue to talk to one another. We appreciate you guys in the chat. What are your guys' thought on Edge um, Byron Young from Tennessee? Like going at in this round. Uh, Byron Young. Byron. Byron who? Is it Byron, Byron Young? Young? Yeah. Byron uh, Young. I've only been looking at guys that are in the range, so like that 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 means to me because I haven't really <laughs> looked at him. Like it makes me think that uh, that he's not really in the. Uh... Are they even? Have they even talked to him? You know what? Never mind. Forget what I just said right now. <laughs> forget what I just said right now. Oh, okay. So I can tell how your relationships um, go. I'm 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 trying to like what do you call it? Get some notes on everything. You know what I'm saying? Wait, out of is that a out of what out of Texas? Tennessee, but Tennessee. that was from. I think that was last, last year. year. That was last that year. Was last year, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was like, at the notes. The wrong. I was note. like, I mean, I thought that name sounded familiar. I was like, do they have another Byron Young? I thought, okay. I thought you had. I thought you he had got to, me. He, like he uh, went to the Rams, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, so he's good though. Re, rewind. Okay? <laughs> rewind. All right. All right. Here we go. So. Uh, there mocks, there's some mock drafts saying that this round we go offense tackle. Um, there's and or I'm looking at, I'm looking at Ky- Kyron, Amagaji from Yale. No, what would you want to take two tackles though? No, 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 I'm just saying like I'm not saying I want to take it. Oh, but I'm saying as in, there that's an option. Okay. In general, who'd you? T- who'd you but take he's not even. A, I think he was already taken, wasn't he? Who'd was you he? get? Who'd you take yeah. at sixty-three? Who did he take? Us? Who did he take at sixty-three? Yeah. Uh, he yeah. took uh, Karen Jackson, Karen. Oregon. Yeah. Oh, Kerry Jackson. Yeah. Oh, Karen, Yeah. Okay. So he's is, at ninety-four. Is, is Brandon Coleman available in this round? Well, it, it will be here. What Just, Brandon Coleman? Mm-hmm. He just keeps throwing out random names. <laughs> uh, no, no shit. Tackle. Brandon we keep looking Coleman. at tackles. <laughs> Brandon Coleman. <laughs> Man, we need help on the offensive line, so might as well. You need to get a bunch of tackles? No. You're thinking tackles, well, you, not minute, tackles. Are you thinking tackles? Like, who did he pick first? Who did he pick he first? He took Jordan Morgan. 
Oh, he took Jordan Morgan. Tackle Arizona. Did he? Yeah. Well, he's going to be a guard anyway. So, like, yeah. uh, so, I mean, he can yeah, true. A, he can, you didn't uh, know that. Be quiet. If I want to. He can be a guard. No mames, me all. We need more than just a tackle. He just can play taco. both, bro. Insane. Taco. Hey, we just got done saying too that he could be into a guard as well. So, ain't nothing wrong with it. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, yeah. so you want Brandon Coleman? Let's fucking take him, Brandon Coleman. Wait, no, no, don't do that to him. He's, he's projected to go in the seventh <laughs> round, bro. But you want to take him? Go ahead. He no, may go I'm, undrafted. He may go okay, undrafted. I'm trying here. <laughs> No, he said right. take him, bro. I'm gonna give it to him. <laughs> no, mom. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. I don't care. No, I don't. Everybody in the comments, hey, fire his I... ass. Fire his ass. <laughs> Send him to the Jaguars. This is why. This if is why. If there was a man. live draft and people had saw Brandon Coleman's name go go across the screen, they would have been like, "What?" Bro, <laughs> you know what you could have did to been, cheat? That would have been one of those Raider uh, those Raider reaches. <laughs> You know what you could have did, bro? You could have typed in Google, you know, mock draft, and then just follow somebody else's draft, bro, and you would have looked like like the best GM. <laughs> Look at it where everybody, you know, like so-and-so from uh, uh, NFL Network picky. And then you could have just picked those names. But it's all right, bro. Not everybody does the draft well. This is the... This is a podcast to have fun and enjoy each other, man. Exactly. Even if you pick players that none of them even touch at those spots, these are you are the GM. Yeah, pick guys that you want. Yes, who do you want? But make sure they're in the draft this year, though. <laughs> <laughs> we're, yeah, we're not doing a trade for Byron Young. <laughs> the, the Ram, Byron Young is like, hey, I thought I played for the Rams. Hey, I made some good. I made some smash burgers today, bro. They were ooh, and I sautéed onions, sautéed uh, mushrooms on the grill, not the grill, but the griddle. For those who don't know, I bought a brand new uh, Blackstone griddle. I love it. I'm looking. Sorry, you, you had me until you started mentioning mushrooms. I can't do mushrooms. Uh, mushroom, mushrooms. It makes me a little. Yeah, you can do a lot of things with the griddle, man. Tacos. Uh, you can make uh, fajitas. Right now, you can a lot of the foods that I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, uh, Five Guys. Oh yeah. yeah. But a lot of the dishes that people make in Five Guys, I can make it, or I will make it on my griddle even better than Five Guys, man. They say once so, you get a griddle, you don't have to go out and buy any fast foods anymore. Just do it at home. And then when so, I really get, get nasty, I, I'll bring out a, bris a brisket and put that on my smoker, trigger smoker. Brisket. Smoke it for 11 hours. A brisket. A brisket. All right. I think I'm, I might go another corner this round. You might what? I might go another corner this round. Do whatever you want, bro. Let me bring you the corners. There you go. These are all your corners. Tell me when to go up. Tell me when to stop. Mm. Okay. Tell me when to fart. <laughs> go down. Cleo, relax. Keep going. What's up, mamas? You don't like the way Brandon's? Yeah, I know. Me neither, but it's okay, baby. No, mamas. It's okay. She okay. has a bone to pick with you. Hey. Make the good dress, puto. Yeah, puto. All right, go, go up a little bit. Can you click on Cam Hart from Notre Dame? Who? Cam, Cam Hart. Hart. Oh, okay. I think you said Kim. No, mommy. Mm -hmm. He's what is he six two, two oh seven. Okay, he looks decent in the slot from those stats. Um, 
Let me go with yeah. Let me go with Cam Hart. You want to go with Cam Hart? All right. Where do you go? All right. Cam Hart. Okay. Cam Hart. At least it's not freezing like last week. Man, that was terrible, huh, uh, Pete? Pete's oh, like, yeah, what no was kidding. this last week? Yeah, we would have been done. We would have been done in like like ten Bro, minutes. Yeah, you did two different po- two. You did two <laughs> drafts, uh, Pete. Remember, because you had to do it on yours. And mm-hmm. I bet you, you probably going to do it less than uh, when we're halfway with Brandon. <laughs> Seven hours later. <laughs> Fourth round. All right. <laughs> Just and, I pick, and I picked All guys right. from this draft. You ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go, go tight end. Wow. You didn't go, you didn't go corner. <laughs> I'm going to be fine right. with you, bro. There's a lot go of, to, there's a lot go of to Theo, Theo Johnson from Penn State. Yes, sir. Your deal. Yes, sir. Oh, Theo. I thought you said your deal. <laughs> yes, sir. My we are with the. Uh, fourth round and 124th pick, the San Francisco 49ers are picking tight end Theo Johnson from Penn State. There you go. We're going to see what your grade you get at the end. Uh, let him let him go. We'll see his grades at the end. Okay, you're at in the fourth round, 132. 132, huh? Yeah. All right, this is where I'm going. Receiver. Let's look at receivers. Receivers. All right. Here you go. Cornelius Johnson. Cornelius oh, Johnson. But he, played for, he plays for that stupid Cornelius. school, Michigan. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, go hey. Blue. Florida go State, baby. Day. Florida State. No mamas. No, no mamas. Respect, respect the champions. Okay. Hey, hey, you got me there, bro. You got me there. <laughs> We're not stealing crab legs over here. Cheaters. <laughs> Just four. <laughs> Round four. What's up, Rick Diaz in the house? Diaz. Gentlemen, good evening. How are you guys doing? Just popped in to show some love. Busy. Busy, busy man you are, brother. I appreciate the love, brother. I appreciate you popping in. Uh, come back in about 15 hours. We'll still be here. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna go longer than the road draft. Well, no, they only get they get what three minutes? Three minutes, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, dude, okay. I, well, this, I never thought about putting a timer on nobody, but that's what you might good idea on you. <laughs> um, I feel like it's still too early, though. Um, fuck. Let's go. Let's go. Go to linebacker. I feel like it's too early. Get his linebackers. I bet I with inside, outside. Um, go, yeah. go inside. Orale, you gonna let me inside? Okay. Orale. Okay. All right, you got Cedric Gray, North Carolina. Okay. Go, Michael go down Barnett. a little bit. Orale, como uh, que go inside and then go down Curtis, a little bit. Go to Curtis, este, este, uh, Curtis Jacobs, linebacker from Penn State. Who? Curtis Jacobs. Jacobs, Jacobs, Jacobs. Oh. You want him or you want to see what he has? Let me see what he has and get your guys' thoughts on it. And then I'll probably choose him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to hurry up. Oh, like here's their playing way. I know we're kicking your ass. Barely started. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. I'm not watching it. So you want Jacobs? Seaway. Orale, pues. I'm gonna see your grades at the end. You're Mine, at 135. Part, dude, end of the fourth round. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I probably did a shitty hey, job. Hey, hey, bro, we're having fun. Don't worry about it. Exactly. Yeah, it's, not, exactly. it's not like these are the role players we're going to draft. And... I know. Um, uh, But if you get a phone call from John Lynch, don't you ever use my name again. 
<laughs> okay, so say my name, say my it's name. I said, let's go tight end. You, wanna, you took a tight end. Did I? Oh, que la I forgot. You took Dude, deal. A your deal. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, go receiver. <laughs> I should have just let you take two, like 15 tight ends. Dude. I'm having a fucking day today, so it's just, no way, hey, bro. I'm gonna have fun. If on I your stay ass, fucking up, bro. Just, just know it's because of that, okay? All right, who do you want, <sighs> bro? I think I kind of. You're gonna take another want. receiver, but go ahead. No, I didn't. I haven't taken a receiver. Oh, there you go. Then you're in good shape. I kind of want Luke McCaffrey this round, this pick. Hey, you're the GM, bro. You're gonna get fired at the end of the night anyway, so go might as well take Fuck you. <laughs> Kyle Shanahan's like, I'm out of here. It's way pendejo. Kyle Shanahan will never fucking draft him, but it, uh it's me. So uh, you know, I'm going Luke McCaffrey. Fuck it. Draft it. L- Luke, let's go. Draft that shit. <laughs> draft that shit. All right, we're in That's the fifth round at 176. What? What'd you say, Pete? I said, like, that's one that they're probably, they probably are going to pick. Not in the fourth round. The last, uh, the last of the fourth round? I think so. I like, I mean, yeah, that's, you might as well be a fifth rounder. Like, I, I could, I could see it. Oh, Pete, you're so 49ers nice. go in, like, this is the thing about the 49ers draft that people need to understand they're going to have to get okay with themselves before the draft starts. The 49ers don't care about draft position. No, they don't care about it at all. Like, uh, so, uh, they're going to pick a bunch of guys way out of order. Uh, d- they, they already have an idea of who they want and they're just, the draft uh, order is just a way for them to get the guys that they want. Absolutely. So, they look, they're always looking at what's they falling. Don't, yeah, the, they don't care. They don't care who is there at what time they're not paying attention to the, and they don't uh, draft by need either. Yeah. They just take what they want <laughs> when they want. See this right here. We're in the fifth round, bro. This kid right here. If you would have waited on tight end, and you would have not got your deal, uh, this guy right here, Bell, Bell. from Florida State. Oh, like that dude's him. a monster. I'm a Florida State yeah. guy, bro. Uh, Tio him. Johnson is a better fit. Oh, he's, he's a better, better fit, fit, but not a better tight end. Ah, uh, I don't know. For what the 49ers do, I think that he might be. But he might be better because he's he's be- he's a better blocker than Jaheim. Yeah, like uh, I, I, Jaheim I is a, is an athletic freak though. Yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. Theo Johnson is used to is you he plays in the in the Big Ten. He's used to uh, blocking a ton. <laughs> Penn State don't throw the ball. That's true. That is true. Uh, real quick, you, you haven't taken a uh, edge rusher yet or a uh, inside uh, tackle, right? No. Uh, you got some good prospects here, McGregor, out of Michigan. He'll tell you. Talk about Mr. McGregor. You're you're a Michigan fan. No. Let me eh. Eh. <laughs> oh, how about Jalen Harrell, a... Michigan? Who? Jaylen, Jaylen oh, Jalen Harrell. Uh, yeah, I mean he's even more eh, like because they got a rotation. They do like the 49ers do, and it's uh, that oh, like they? a couple of their guys. They're they're just big corn fed <laughs> dudes that, that they just send at you in waves, like uh, yeah. They're they're but, about their tackles. Their tackles are really good, but their defensive ends eh. Okay. Except for uh, what's his name that they got uh, that Detroit got. He was the one exception. Yeah, I'm showing you okay. some safeties. Since, but, since you just went to safeties, I got one for safety. Who do you got? Malik Musta- Mustafa. Yeah. Malik Mustafa? He, he, I think he's already I gone. Can him, I can see him fit. Is he already gone? <laughs> I don't think he'll fit if he's already gone. He's gone. <laughs> In your pocket, maybe. He's gone. <laughs> Well, Jalen Jalen Simpson is nice. I like yeah. him. Yeah, he was listed as a corner. He was listed. Omar as a corner Brown, Nebraska is a better safety, bro. Ah, Jalen Simpson for what we do. Nice. Yeah, you think so? 
Um, that's just me, though. I like Josh Proctor too, but like I can't. Uh, but I mean, he's way down there. Oh yeah, he, yeah, he's gonna go later. Yeah, yeah, especially at PFF. I usually get him in the seventh round in other places, but I mean, he's Steve-O, way down don't there. worry, we won't. Um, What's up, Steve? Let's see here. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Is Isaac Garendo there? Who? Oh, Isaac shit. Garendo. Yeah, he's he'll be there. He's gonna go late. Uh, Isaac. Oh, I think he's he? gone already. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's been creeping up the board because. Oh, uh, has he? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, he's he's slated to go in like the fourth now. Oh damn! Like the fourth, fourth, really? or early fifth. Like a, uh, told you, I told you <laughs> that. Yeah, guy, and gone. then you saw, and then you saw Twitter. Uh, like uh, they said, the 49ers tech. Uh, like they leaked, uh, which probably means they're not picking him. But like, uh, that's what they, they do, bro. That they were really I, I'm right with you there, Pete. That, you know, you know what. People that come in for visits, I don't. Uh, they might get one or two of those thirty visits. Yeah. To me, a lot of those are uh, are, are smoke screens, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, because for sure. they're trying I mean, to. All, tr- I mean, they're, they're not they're picking thirty the people. No, First off, they're not picking thirty people. <laughs> so, like, uh, that is for so, sure. Yeah. But okay, um, go. Let's go defensive end. Go back to defensive end. Defensive end. I mean. There you go, buddy. Solomon Bird, USC. It's all right. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah. Well, at this, well, at, you're, 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 you're picking. Yeah, right. I mean, you are at you are at one seventy six. So yeah, yeah. So there's not going to be no great ones. That's why, I like, when it gets to this part, I just go best player available usually. Like, uh... let's go. Okay, that's his nice way of saying to hurry up. Shut the. <laughs> I'm not I'm Damn, not everyone. Sure. I'm not saying that to you. Oh, it's uh, let's go with Solomon Bird. Fuck it. I'm sorry, what was that? Solomon Bird. Solomon Bird. Bird. There you go. Come on. You suck. <laughs> so, do, so do you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> mm. Booyah! It's a family show. Right. John uh-huh. John Lynch, you're fired. Let's go running back. You gotta have fun, bro. Yeah. There's Frankie. Uh-huh. There's Frankie. There's, uh, I, was, I thought he would go by now. No. no, bro. He might go undrafted. <laughs> no. He might go undrafted. No, he's gonna go like, undrafted. Oh, he's gonna. Like, he's definitely he going undrafted. Go? Oh yeah, oh, absolutely, bro. absolutely. He's tiny. He's smarter than his. He's be, he's better than his. Uh, no, no, I take that back. No, no, I take it back. I'm going. Yeah, he's, I'm going. He's Jason. tiny and he's slow. He can't be better than his dad because he hasn't played no. a damn down in the NFL. So, I take yeah. it back. Um, his dad was dominant in Miami. Yeah, that's true. Because we tend to do this every year, and then it turns out not to work when the season hits. So what's that? I'm just gonna pull a John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan and go Jace uh, McClannan from Alabama. Okay, he's oh, steady. Okay, there you go. He's All right, steady. you're in the sixth round. You got uh, you're at two fifteen. These are your. He's a, he's a Tevin uh, Coleman. See, Frank is still there. Yeah, exactly. Um, go he didn't mean that. He didn't mean that <laughs> in a compliment. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Did you not hear what I just said before I hit before I said to draft him? Oh my Were you not I can't believe I can't believe this guy is still on the board. Like PFF is wilding for this. Oh yeah, PF that's what yeah. thing about PFF, yeah. Who is it? Omar? I'm not telling Omar you. Omar Brown. Omar Brown. <laughs> No, no, he's talking about Frank Gore. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh yeah, that's that's exactly. Oh yes, right. or or Tanner or Tony. Yeah, Bordellini is gonna go higher than, than than the uh, than the seventh Ta- round. Tanner sure. Bordellini. This is the seventh. Oh, this is the sixth. But either sixth. way, I think he's gonna go bottom fifth. Hmm. 
What about what are you guys? What's up, David on? Villa? Welcome to the show, brother. What are you guys' thoughts on Anthony Gold going this round? Uh, I mean, he's solid. He's solid. Uh, a solid wide receiver. Uh, I don't really know too much about him because I'm not looking for wide receivers. That yeah. I feel like he's uh, there's a couple of wide receivers that the 49ers have talked to. I know Anthony Gold that they've talked to him. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's a top 30, uh, no. but uh, but they have talked to him a couple times. But yeah, so uh, if you're yeah. looking for guys late that they've talked to, Bub Means out of Pittsburgh, uh, they've talked to. Uh, I would like to see them take Aeneas. Uh, what is it? Not Aeneas. Uh, yeah, I think it is Aeneas Smith. Aeneas Smith out of Texas A&M. Was- Okay. But I don't know if he's going to be there late. Hey, look who's like, here. Brandon Coleman's still there. Oh, shit. Bug <laughs> 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 Life Certified. Sound like a lawnmower <laughs> over there. <laughs> one man, one camera, one mission. Hey. To <laughs> screw up the draft for the Niners. Go <laughs> <laughs> up. Now, yeah, you're, you know. you're gonna. It's all. It's all fun and games until the 49ers pick all these guys, and, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I know. I was throwing stuff at the wall when they picked a kicker at the in the third round. Oh, dude, so was I. I was like, "What are I'm we? Like, doing? Why are we picking a kicker?" Hey, the, the Cowboys took ball. an undrafted kicker, and he was the best kicker. Of the, and you know what? The kicker from Michigan, uh, he's good. He just. The problem with him, he was taking too high. Yeah, that, that's the only thing that's going to hurt him is the, yeah, the way he was drafted. Pressure. It's too much. It puts too much pressure. On, but the uh, kid, on you know, that he missed the same amount of kicks than the guy over there with the Ravens is supposed to be the best kicker in the NFL. Who, Justin Tucker? Yep, same amount of miss. Yeah. Okay, but he had the same. But did he have as many? Kick, did he kick as many times? Yes. No. No, I he did kick more. No, he didn't. You better look <laughs> no, that again. Didn't. Football, like uh, field goals. Okay, let's look. Let's look, look it up, bro. If not, but not by much. How do you guys feel about? Um, let me get you guys' thoughts on. Take your uh, time, bro. Uh, We're gonna be here all night Graham anyway, Martin. Pete. <laughs> Is I love, Graham I, Barton available? And if who? so, what are your guys' thoughts on Graham Barton from Duke? Oh, he's gone, bro. Is he gone? Oh yeah, he's way gone. He's, he he's was gone. First for- First before, round. All right, all right, he right. went. He went before we started this life. Okay, chill, fam. <laughs> I miss it. Hey, bro. How, he, don't be. Don't be Mr. Italian Porsche. Come out. I'm not. Don't be. Don't be making me go swim with the fishes. Okay, so he was ranked. So I'll, I'll WW slam your ass. Hey, I watched half of it. I didn't get to watch the whole Jake thing. Jake Mooney was the twenty seventh ranked Our, kicker. Oh. You, you know, you know, what's the name of that female that has her that she does like this with her, her with her um her hair? Yeah, Bianca Belair. Okay, not Bianca, but the, you know how there were three of them. They came in wrestling. The other one, the one that wrestled I, last, the one that won the match. Jade Cargo, right? The one with oh, the silver my. hair. Yeah, she has short hair. Yeah, I found love, dude. bro. Dude, she's fucking huge, bro. She, I found love. She is <laughs> an Amazon woman. So, yeah, Jake awesome. Moody was the 27th ranked kicker in the NFL last year. He had 80. Where is he? Can we go linebacker, please? All the way. Sure. Down. He was 84%, but, and uh, what's his name? Justin Tucker was 86%. But, like oh, I said, Justin Tucker had 37 attempts Sorry. to Moody's 25. Say that again? I'm sorry, Pete. Uh, Jake Moody had, uh, like, Good. Justin Tucker, uh, like, uh, had a higher percentage, plus he had 37 attempts to Jake Moody's 25. I knew right. Jake Moody just didn't kick a lot. He didn't like, kick a lot of field goals. Well, that's uh, because, because we were the, scoring more touchdowns. Yeah, for sure. But that's why it was he wasn't as much of a factor in the in the regular season, except for the ones that he did miss were always, like, cause us to lose the game. But he was a, I mean, I don't know. He was a rookie. I think he'll be better. I mean, 
there's nothing we can do for the spot that he was taking. It sucks that we took him that high, but that's he's all, one of, that's he's, all I'm he's saying. our kicker now. Yeah, that's uh, all I'm saying. I don't have anything against him. I just I just think that we shouldn't have picked a kicker in the third round. Like, yeah. <laughs> he would have had okay. the record in the Super Bowl if didn't he lose it in about five minutes later for yeah, the longest yeah. and kick. Then misses a, and then he misses an extra point. Yeah. Yep. I mean. No, but uh, we lost more than well, a point, though, so that wouldn't hurt. Well, Go down. A little but bit. We, and yeah, we lost by more than a point in overtime. Just right, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> we wouldn't have we're even gone go, to overtime. We're gonna go with that's true. Edu Fawn. <laughs> Who? Edu Fawn from Washington. Hold on, Fulcio. Whatever oh. the hell you pronounce his last name. There you go. Yes, that's sir. Two fifty one in the seventh round. He sounds like a niner. <laughs> Sounds like a niner, huh? Ran- oh, I, yes, I, I was, I was talking, about the, <laughs> talking about some moments. I was going, I was, I watched the Uso brothers. I was going for Jay, bro. Me too. Main event, Jay. Yep. Yep. Down since over Jimmy. Day one ish. I'm, I'm like, I'm rewatching. I'm on 2002 of WWE right now. Uh, I'm rewatching oh, through, through the whole. You rewatching it. Well, because I never, yeah. I stopped. That's when I stopped watching. I stopped watching about two thousand. Okay. And like, so I'm going. I started. We took Peacock, and I was like, "Oh, they got everything." So I'm gonna just go back through. My wife hates it, but. Yeah. No, dude. Freaking! This was the best uh, WrestleMania yet. I do have to say. Um, the okay. The only thing I hate about the WWE is that now they separate into two day events to make more money, which is like. So if you went to the first event, you can't afford to go back to the second one. You're screwed. A lot of people still do. No, did I know. you watch that? Did you watch the Bray Wyatt special? Yeah, no, dude, not yet. I'm not gonna lie, dude. No, I cried. Hey, 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 no, no spoilers. I oh, cried. I'm gonna watch it tonight that or tomorrow. That was emotional as fuck. It was no, really that part, good. I, that part I would think it would be emotional. So that's not giving nothing away. What's up, Bebop? What's yeah. up? What's up, brother? Uh, Don right, says Bebop. yes. Love Jay Uso. Right on. So yes. who do you take? Don, Don watched WrestleMania too. I was uh, talking to her on Twitter. I didn't know it was on Peacock. I could have watched it on Saturday and Sunday. It's yeah. been on Peacock for a long time. Yeah. Bef- no, but we, before it used to be on pay-per-view only. That's how long well, it's been that I watched uh, WrestleMania. They got they switched to streaming service a long time ago. Um, but, it was like I said, Google I haven't watched Network. nothing recent. Yeah, I was on WWE Network for a minute, and then uh, they switched it to Peacock. I, ha- I have Peacock. I just didn't know. So, I was t- yeah. so I'm trying to stay off of Twitter, so I don't want to read nothing. I could have been watching it. But that's all good. <laughs> all right, go to, to go to Edge. Go to Edge? Mm-hmm. You said you had a wrestle. You're going to do that WWE after? Uh, So we postponed it to this weekend. Okay, one of your like uh, faithful. By the way, you guys in the chat uh, came out with a new podcast called the Ring Rundown Podcast, where we talk everything professional wrestling. Doesn't matter if it's WWE, AEW, TNA, New Rookie. Japan wrestling. Doesn't matter. But it's me, Christian, and Matt. We talk about wrestling. So uh, go ahead and search that up on YouTube and give us a sub. And also, we're on Twitter too. And Instagram. Hey. Who, who is, who's on the show? Me, uh, Christians, and Matt. Oh. Matt, uh, last name, the Matt from, uh, what's the name of his show? From Hive, from the Hive. Hive. Yeah. Oh, okay. El Huero. Yeah, so. Um, Cemetery 7 in the house. Right. What's up, brother? All right. Um, all right, so go down a little bit. Um, that's it, huh? Yeah, bro, we're in the seventh. Well, that's for uh, for Fuck. edge rushers. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, oh, this is the last pick. Just pick somebody. Just pick somebody. <laughs> Let's go defense line. <laughs> <laughs> or no, go tight end. Go tight end. Hold on. I mean, no, go right. defense line. Are you okay. really looking for a, a dive into the rough? <laughs> oh. <laughs> P just P lost it. Just seven round damage. Last pick. Pick somebody. God. <laughs> Oh, no shit. <laughs> okay, no, no. Fuck it. I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm. Epic fail. 
Yeah, your mom. <laughs> hey, what did I tell you about my mom <laughs> thing, bro? We were I'm we sorry. did this before, didn't we? Yes. All right, but it's be not careful, serious. bro. Go down a little bit. Um, fuck it, just go JJ Reber from Kentucky. Who? Oh, exactly. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan McGee. Jordan McGee. Jordan McGee would have been the pick there. Just so you ah, know. fuck it. My my job. Right, let's see what the grade is. All right, so we got. Woo! Yeah. God damn. We got a B. B plus. D plus D for Dick. F this for looks like, fail. This looks like his real report card. Yeah. F wow. For fail. Hey, I D. School, thank you. D. So we got a C minus. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> Thug Life Certified. Thug Life Certified. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not making the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, was really like, and like I said, it's all fun and games. But if you really look at it, if you really look at it, if they come away with Jordan Morgan, Kyrie Jackson, Theo Johnson, Luke McCaffrey, most teams would would be fine with having four hits. Uh, I think I think that those are four hits. So, I mean, and Jason McClellan is probably going to go to the practice squad, but uh, but he's a he's a possible fit for the 49ers, too. So, like, uh, I think that like it's just the placement of uh, where you picked him. Like, uh, is the reason why you got the letter grade that you did. Hey, Bebop says you can still get a degree with a C. <laughs> yeah. C's get degrees. D's get degrees. Yeah. <laughs> so much money's behind that letter C. That's okay, dude. Yeah. Hey. Everybody, take a picture. No, don't take a picture. <laughs> Everybody, take a picture and send it to uh, Brandon with your thoughts. <laughs> Ass. Here we go. Brandon's picks. We appreciate it, Brandon. You will not be working for the San Francisco 49ers after today. So we appreciate <laughs> No, bro. It's all good. Let me take it. It's not that bad. It's hey, not as bad as... We got a as... winner, though. We did not delay once. I told you... Remember I told you last week, uh, Pete, I felt like it was a glitch? Yeah. And because... Uh, did you guys see any delay other than... Uh, we see we seen bad picks, but I'm talking about delay. Yeah. Fuck you. Can, <laughs> hey, can I do it? Can I do a quick mock? Five you minutes. Do an, you want to do minutes. a quick one? Give me five minutes. You said five uh, you, minutes. You want to show off that you do better than uh all right, chill Pete. I just want to see okay. I just want to see what the letter grade ends up being. All right, hold on. Let me get you back on that line. I ain't doing no trades. <laughs> okay. I am taking scroll up. Down since day one ish. I mean, uh, we're gonna the take, bar's uh, not high, bro. You have to go better than C yeah. plus, C minus. I'm taking uh, Jordan really? Morgan. Jo- who? Jordan Morgan. Jordan Morgan. All right. Uh, Christian Haynes. Christian Haynes. Yep. Yep. It's our center of the future, right there. And 94. Scrant, scroll up. Can Dominic Pooney oh, is going to be a good tackle. Is all the way up to 101. Get out of here. Eric Hall is up to 103. Get out of here. Yeah. They're, li- they're lying to themselves. Yeah. Uh, Get out of here. <laughs> uh, scroll, scroll back down. Frozen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Up, up by mint. Up by mint. There you go. Down, 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 down. Keep going. Keep going. Uh oh, oh I missed it. Oh, Kalen Bullock at SC. Kalen Bullock? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a safety. He's a yeah, safety. I got, I got you. All right, you're at uh 124. And, ooh, scroll up. Show Smith Wade. <laughs> Last week I picked one. He asked me to pick one, and the computer picked another one. Remember? Yeah. yeah I'm like, what the? <laughs> All right, scroll. 132. Okay, scroll up. Ooh, There's they're Isaac. Ta- they're taunting me. 
Yeah, I'm going to take him. Isaiah Isaac Garindo. Isaac Garindo. All right. Okay. Last pick in the fourth round. Ooh, fourth round. I got to take him. Cedric Gray. Gray? Yeah. Oh, gray, Gray. There he is. All right. Uh, 176. And I scroll up a little bit. Scroll up, scroll up. Ooh. I'm going to take Jahi. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to take Tip Ryman. Tip Ryman. Tip Ryman. Scroll back tip, down. Tip, tip. Yeah. They're not going to give me a good grade on him, but I don't care. I like him. <laughs> no, I'm going to do one after two. I'm, I want to fill some juice. Tanner Bordellini. We have who? Tanner Bordellini. Tanner, 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 Tanner. There we Scroll go. Scroll down. Yep. I got him. I got you. Uh, keep going. Keep wow. going. Keep going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Scroll back up. Where'd he go? Dominique Hampton. Oops. Take him, not. There you go. Yeah. And last, see, pick. last guy, last guy, scroll Let's up. see what your grade is. I want to see what I can get as well. Yeah. Are you going to do one too then? Yeah, I'm going to do a quick one. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Oh, it's scroll up freezing sorry. on you now? Oh. No, no. <laughs> I froze myself. Yeah, it's freezing on him now. I'm looking for a specific guy that. Keep going. Keep going. This is 251, right? Yep. No, it's 256. Oh, Why is he not there? Did somebody take him already? Somebody took him already. All right, go to line. There, yeah, this is everybody. Oh, that's right. I took, set. I took a gray anyway. So oof. just take uh, Josh Proctor. That's fine. Take another safety. All right, we got a B, B plus, C, B, C, 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 B minus. And a B minus. All right, my turn. Five minutes. Chill, chill, okay, chill. We all got to jump into the party now. So I got to beat. I got to beat a B minus. All right. It's like just so everybody knows, it is very easy. To be uh, to get high grades on the on the PFF, all you got to do is pick the the first guy <laughs> every Ooh. single time, and they're gonna get and they're gonna get. Oh yeah, grade. if you do that, it is very easy to beat Brandon. That's what he's trying to say. No, bro. no, no. I'm saying it's that PFF the way they <laughs> grade it. It's like a lot of it is by the draft. They give it a draft grade for the position, and like uh, it's it's weird to me. If we went to uh, mock draft data- database, they draft it like they give you the grade by the actual like player. And oh, do they, they? Yeah. What are we fourth round? PFF has weird weird ways of doing their grades too. So. And it's oh, Smith is nice. Yeah. I don't even think I picked uh, a I wide receiver. Get, I can Why not pick a wide receiver? I didn't pick a wide receiver. You did it? I don't think I did. Boom, 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 boom. I like my corner. Uh, hey, how's Johnson? Cornelius Johnson, is he all right? I mean, he, he's all right. Like, uh, it you never know with the Michigan wide receiver because uh, because they don't get a lot of touches. That's true. They just That's run. True. They just run the ball. I took a DN. I took Ronnie Bell. Oh. I knew was going to be pretty decent though because he's because uh, uh, he was even though they don't pass the ball, he was the only one they would give the ball. 
He was the only person that they just passed it to him over and over and over again. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I had been mocking him to the 49ers that whole offseason because uh, I was like, he's a guy that uh, – and he's t- I knew he was tough, so – I think he takes a jump this next season. I hope so, man. I think he I does. hope so. All right, here's where I want to take my tight end. Oh, who else is there? Because I don't think they're going to pay. Uh, yeah, I hope so, too, because I don't think they're going to pay uh, old dude. Uh, uh, the third and Jawan. Third and Jawan? Yeah, I don't think they're going to pay him after this year. No. No. I, I hope – I like him, but I, I, love, under, I love that I, kid. I understand why they wouldn't do it, but I like him. Yeah, yeah, I really like him. Like some team is going to pay him, overpay him to uh, just to bring some culture to their squad. Like, uh, we listen to Rock. Is that you, Brandon? Yeah. You a Rock guy? No. <laughs> Why you have? It's Cody Rhodes' entrance music. That's why. Oh, mm-hmm. Cody. He didn't deserve to win, bro. Yes, he did. The hell? Get out of here! No. Yeah. I wonder if he knew he was going to win before the match. Some about him, I just I'm not a fan. You think he I knew love- he was going to win, Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> it was time. He was, supposed, he was supposed to win last year, but they still had Roman keep it. I think it's because mm-hmm. Roman's taking some time off, too. Because uh, I think his leukemia came back. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks for him. I like oh, Roman. Oh, guys, check out his... Uh, I love Roman. Like, I, only, I only know him of him from his uh, promos. He is one of the best promo guys like i love i love wrestlers because they're promos rick flair yeah. is like one of the best promo guys of all time CM Punk's <laughs> hella good at promos too who cm punk yeah yeah he does pretty good promos too uh the rock like uh the rock used to be my favorite guy kurt angle kurt angle i, lo- I love his uh promos too but check out his uh biography of oh yeah by a episode. b plus baby Who'd you pick? Like, uh... I got myself a D lineman. Then I went inside, edge, guard, corner, corner. I love, we never have enough corners. Running back, Isaac. I got a tight end, uh, center, receiver, and then edge. Bro, it's all right. That's what I'm talking about. It's all right. But is he up here? Uh, Jay Borton has higher board position. No, man, it's fancy. But um, anyway, come on. Yeah, guys, uh, we love playing <laughs> football. So yeah, I watched a little bit of the WrestleMania yesterday or earlier today before I started to grill outside. It was a beautiful day here in uh, Northern Cali. Um, man. Uh, I like the I uh, that what's her name, man? I I, I tell my wife I said I found my new girlfriend. She t- she's <laughs> like okay, whatever. Jane Cargill. Yeah, she's she's just an Amazon woman. But uh, uh, and then I watched that one. Then I watched the Uso brothers. And then I watched the ladder match for the championships. I thought that was kind of. What lame. you think about the ladder match? Did you like it? It was all right. It, it, yeah. Wasn't it? Okay. Wasn't it? When the the what's the name? Uh, I forgot his name. The one that uh, won at the end, the second one. He Our went. A, he he went a little too far up. Remember, you tried to use behind him. I'm like, you're lucky nobody was in the ring, bro. Because if there was, you would never touch that belt. Yeah. Trying to get it from behind. Uh, but truth cracks me up, though. The truth. Yeah. Uh, Seventy-two point two. Uh, Thousand people there for the first day. Yeah. That was not bad. And that stinking stadium. Uh, I yeah, see Kittle cool. there. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, Kittle was there. He Kittle, knew he was yeah. going to be there. Yeah, He's a yeah. big, big wrestling fan, man. Hey, how many think that Kittle will become somewhat, some way part of the WWE once he retires from football? He will, oh, for sure. He will, for sure. He I'm has that charisma, right? He has that back. personality that, that you're looking for. 
yep. uh, and, a, and a player for WWE because WWE is not just about being a good wrestler. You yeah, gotta no, you sell. Gotta you gotta sell yourself to the audience. They have to either hate you or love you, but there's mm-hmm. no in between you in WWE. So let me ask you. Uh, I'll ask Pete because uh, Brandon, you're, you're up to date. Pete, and anybody can answer me in the comments too. We're switching a little bit to WWE real fast before we get off. I know it's late where Pete's at. Pete, who was your favorite player? Excuse me, wrestler, uh, past, present. That you just love watching. Uh, ooh. that's tough. That is tough. Oh, one of your top five then. Okay, I can give you a top five. So, I would say The Rock, uh, Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle. Rick, okay, uh, Ric Flair, and the last two. Woo! Uh, yeah. Uh last two oh, man. Who is I used to I used to, I, I'm gonna throw the ultimate warrior in there. Oh I love Eric Guerrero. Right on Crazy Juice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna throw Ultimate Warrior in there and then yeah. I'm gonna say R V D. I'm gonna go R V D. R yeah i like that i like that yeah i'm old like i'm also old school i I grew up in the watching it uh, you know back scratch scratch uh ultimate warrior put in triple h triple h okay yeah. all right triple h uh you know the i can't old really keep triple up, h. I, I can't keep up with too many of the new guys now because i really haven't been watching it as, as much to be honest with you but old school man uh tag team my favorite uh the english bulldogs for my favorite, oh, uh, yeah. British Bulldogs, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, and then uh, Randy Savage was yeah, one Savage. of my favorites. Uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, mm-hmm. I like, and um, Andre the Giant. You can never go oh. wrong with Andre the Giant. Yeah. And Bam Bam Bigelow was another oh, one yeah. that I love watching. I I mean, I you know what I found it. out today? I, I didn't Bam know Bam. is that uh, uh, what's his name? Your Rushi or I can't forget the big guy with the big diaper. Uh, Rikishi. I didn't Rikishi. know that was the the kids the twins' bro- dad. Yeah, yeah, dude. Come on. I didn't man. know that. I'm like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, know, honorable I mention. I mean, I'm not gonna be honorable mention. That I, I'm not gonna say just because they're Samoans, everybody's related. But you know, I didn't know that. I'm like Rikishi. So I love most, Rikishi. Most of the Samoans that are in the wrestling, they're all related. Yeah, most of them are. In oh the, really? Uh, that are, yeah. Yeah. Like they yeah, all yeah. came from that family. Honorable okay. mention Rick Rude. Rick Rude is like one Rick of my Rude. Favorites too. Ravishing Rick Rude. Yeah, when he was ravishing when he had the curl. Remember yeah. when you guys remember <laughs> But ain't no girl prettier than, had, than, than uh, Elizabeth, bro. Elizabeth yeah, was no. like the Elizabeth was yeah. What about she turned what out about, to be a, uh, turned out to be a crackhead, but yeah. What about China? I liked her as a wrestler, obviously not pretty, but she was she yeah. was good. I would like to see China fight that girl that I seen today. Uh, well, I seen it today. They wrestled Saturday, but uh, I don't think China could compete with the the people the the women today. Well, not if she was. Well, of course not, because she'll be older. But if she was, at the you same know what age, I mean. No, I know. Same age. I just think that she it, her she wouldn't look as impressive. Like uh, back then, there was like nobody. There was the who, the, the bushwhackers. I love the bushwhackers. <laughs> Yeah, Bushwhackers are nice. Chris Jericho was I good. Jericho. I've always hated Jericho. <laughs> remember the remember the boss man? I always hated that guy. Yeah, boss man was nice. Or or uh, uh, Jim, uh, the guy with the the two by four. I was like the bad guys. I was like the bad guys. Saw so, what's his name? The guy with the two by four. Um, uh, Hacksaw. Hacksaw. Jim Duggan. Jim Duggan yeah, him. Uh, Old wrestlers, Jim man. Dog. The junkyard dog. Uh, uh, Legion of Doom was my was my uh, was my tag team. Uh, I liked Legion of Doom before they were in WWE. Did you like? For, I know you don't like Hulk Hogan. I, we talked about that in the past. Yeah, Pete, I but, can't stand that guy. But Brandon Hulk Hogan. Do you like him? The original Hulk Hogan, Hulk Mania, or did you like him when he went to the NWO or whatever the wherever he went? Dude, NWO. 
I, I liked Hill, Hulk Hogan. Okay. So you like that Hulk Hogan? Yeah, that was pretty badass. So, Brandon, who is your favorite uh, uh, wrestler, whether past or present? You're more My up to date, bro, so I'm not going to give you top five. And just who is your favorite? What's up, Leon? For the very longest time, it was John Cena. I'm not going to lie. John Cena? Okay. Yeah. And uh, it was so in the 2000s, it was Cena, Mysterio, and Batista. Goldberg, AJ Styles. She's a cutie. AJ Styles. No, that's a guy. I'm thinking of. <laughs> who am I thinking? I'm thinking about the girl. Um, What's the name of that girl that kind of starts the same, almost the same? AJ, she was no short. Idea. She married a wrestler, one of the AJ you know, Lee? AJ Lee, was AJ Lee or something like that? That's CM Punk's wife. Yeah, that her. Oh, she is fine. That's what, not AJ, okay. <laughs> not not going there. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm talking to uh, Siri answered. What's up, brother? Never. Welcome, welcome. We got uh, Shawn Michaels in the house. Yeah, uh, he's good. Sting. You remember uh, the Rotundas back in the day? Yeah, uh, like uh, I used to watch him and Barry Windham. Yeah, uh, back in so a, when that, they were in AW that, when they were in AWA. Like yeah, uh, that was that was that's Bray's dad. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I yeah, I, I I found that out. When you watched yeah. it, huh? Oh yeah, I watched it. Yeah, like uh, yeah, Barry Windham looks like garbage right now. <laughs> like he used I to know. be really he didn't age well at all. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, they're. Uh, it was uh, like a, it's funny because uh, his sister looks almost exactly like him. Yeah. He does. She does for sure. Hey, you're muted, Beto. Yeah, you're muted. You're muted, Beto. Sorry, Mijo, you're muted. Guys, make sure to hit the like button if you haven't hit the like button already. Support everyone's channel. All of our channels is going live right now. Whether you're watching on mine or Brandon's or Pete's, uh, go around. All the links are in the comments below and description below click on the link support our channels uh support us uh follow make sure to follow brandon he's starting up uh started up a wwe channel where we're going to talk wrestling so if you want to get more in depth about wrestling as as you can tell everybody in the in the comments love wrestling uh brandon let them know exactly how they can follow you and what's the name of the channel brother yes sir so we're on uh youtube Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. It's called the Ring Run Rundown Podcast. And we are going live to recap WrestleMania and the week of Raw, NXT, and SmackDown on Saturday night. Uh 8 30 Pacific Standard Time. So be sure to catch us there. And then also too, like you saw above me, uh follow the Niner Podcast, Forever Faithful Podcast on everything, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, Instagram. Facebook, whatever. If you want the audio portion of it, you know where to find it. iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Wherever. Everywhere. Wherever you can find toilet paper. You don't want to look like that much. It's not like a dino over there. <laughs> Pete, Pete, where they can follow you, bro? Okay, so we're... Uh... I mean, you look up Niner Fanatic Podcast. All you got to do is Google Niner Fanatic Podcast. That's really all you got to do. It's And it immediately uh, comes up with all the, the links to everywhere where I'm at. But I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Uh, yes, I'm on, on I'm on anywhere where you can get your audio podcast. And uh, I don't care where you get it. Just get it. Just tell a friend to tell a friend so we can be friends every day, every week. You know what it is. Uh, right. But I'll be on... I'll be on Thursday, and then I think I'm going on CarCast, a show on Friday. So I'll be nice. on his show, too. Nice, nice. Cool. All right, you guys. This is where you can follow and make sure to support the channel, everyone. Uh, man, we appreciate everyone that showed up tonight. Thank you. 
once again to Brandon for being the GM of the San Francisco 49ers. I know we uh, no, had a little bit of fun, bro. But you know what? You did your thing. Proud of you, my friend. You came out here and still did it, man. You didn't hide underneath the desk. I appreciate that. And, hey, those are your picks. Whether people agree or not, those are your picks, and it's all good, my friend. Uh, we had a little bit more, more issues last week with Pete, but Pete got his uh, little bit of his uh, picks today quicker. So mm -hmm. good for him. All right, guys, make sure to tune in every Tuesday at 630 Pacific Standard Time to come and kick it with the boys as we talk 49er football. Until then, we are out of here. Peace. Go Niners. Good night, everyone. Go Niners. Go Niners. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero.